Hey KIS, I'm Mina. And I'm Yuna, and welcome to the third edition of On The Fly. This year, high schoolers couldn't show off their Halloween costumes on campus because of a virtual school day. But you know who was on campus? Who? Elementary schoolers. Let's check out how they celebrated the spooky holiday. What are you dressed up as right now? Uh, I'm not like this as like anyone, but I'm a witch. I went as a banana. As a banana, very healthy. And what's your favorite thing about Halloween? Um, my favorite thing about Halloween is like oh, going somewhere at getting candy and saying to go treat to people. My favorite thing about Halloween is like seeing all these costumes and the, like getting a lot of candy. Getting candy. Mm, you can be anyone you like, but you're still yourself. It's that time of the year, picture day, where KIS students line up and wait to take their pictures. But this time, we got to know what goes on behind the camera by interviewing the school photographer. <laughs> Last month, Student Council put together the annual patio and fire while maintaining the safety regulations. Let's check it out. I kind of like the more open setting. It feels a little less claustrophobic, but it's also like last year's was cute with all the decorations and it felt um, maybe ho cozier. But it's, I actually kind of like this setting better because it's a lot bigger and open and yeah. I have a solo song um, that's called When We Were Young by Adele. I just chose When We Were Young because it's a song that everyone knows, but like when I was singing it, I was kind of thinking of like me being a senior and how this is like my like fourth and final Patty on Fire performance. Um, yeah, that's what I was thinking of when I was practicing it. Last year's Human Rights Week team has changed their name to the KIS Human Rights Initiative, also known as CRE. Let's find out what was behind their rebrand and how their goals have expanded from last year.
Hello, my name is Michelle Shin, the co-head of the KIS Human Rights Initiative along with Hannah Jo. The KIS Human Rights Initiative, also known as Cree, was formerly known as the Human Rights Week Committee. This year, hence our name change, we've expanded our work to encompass a variety of new projects and initiatives around the school. The five themes of the 2021 Human Rights Week is based upon the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. And another big project we're working on this year is connecting with students across elementary, middle, and high schools to integrate the UN SDGs into their curriculums. Our goal is fairly simple. Us students at KIS are often enclosed in a bubble of privilege, and we want to be the bridge that connects our student community with human rights and social justice issues that are prevalent in the larger community around us. Since the beginning of the year, we've been having weekly meetings every Monday, and so far we've worked to establish the theme for our 2021 Human Rights Week, which is Beyond 2020, removing the mask on social pandemics, and creating sub-themes for each of the days. Cross Country had an interesting season with many changes such as wearing masks, course changes, and many more. Let's see how seniors in Cross Country cope with these changes as they reflect on their season. What's up? I'm Foster Young, repping TCIS Cross Country. Hi, I'm Kenzo Nakamura, and um, I'm a senior at SFS, and I am on the Cross Country team. I'm Harrison L. Yes, Cross Country captain. Uh, did Cross Country for three years and track since my freshman year. Uh, yeah. What does Cross Why did you join Cross Country? And what does running or just Cross Country in general mean to you? I joined cross country because it's one of the most competitive sports out there and running just means getting out and competing with your fellow teammates and players and just having friendly rivalries with other teams. Uh, running in general, uh, you know, it was means a lot to me. I don't think I can peg one specific phrase or word on it, but it was the first way I was able to like join a sport and then become part of a culture and form a lot of new friends within my school because before then I was kind of like a loner but then it helped me introduce uh, myself to a lot of new people um, and even by my junior year make friends with a lot of guys from other schools as well who shared the same passion so uh, it means a lot you yeah. um, know. Running definitely means more, like to me it means more than just running itself you know running is not the most it's, it's a very really simple sport it's not the most fun sport so obviously like, for me at least there has to be something more to that for me to like keep going and for me it's running is just so special to me because of what it gave to me um i started running when i was just training for like basketball but i didn't really have um a strong sense of like what i was good at what i liked and Running was where I really found my group of friends and like my values. And so um, along with a couple of my teammates um, on the cross country team at SFS, we set up a charity organization called Core Run Team Together, where we basically um, inviting a bunch of people around the world, just signing up um, to participate in an event where you run a 5K and through that you can gain prizes but also run for a cause because we raised money through it and we donated we actually raised um i'm not exactly sure how much but a, a lot of money to donate to um immigrants who are vulnerable to covid19 um in korea so that's something that that's, that's something just cool about running um and yeah. something that's running personal to me right yeah you've definitely brought i mean i participated in that but i've I've seen a lot of other people participate in the event and you've, you've kind of created this event where it's like even during those times of COVID and quarantine, you kind of brought everyone together uh, through running and I thought that was really cool. Uh, what's the thing you love the most about cross country? Uh, I, without a doubt, it's got to be the team. Um, the connections, memories uh, that you form from 
you know, sharing the same uh, struggles and, you know, being in the same sport as like other people. I love how competitive it is and right. the type of competition too. It's super close a lot of the time, but your rivals are also like your closest friends. Right. And even if they're from a different school, they're just so nice to each other. Yeah. The com- I think the community is also a big thing in, in cross country, at least in Korea, and I bet in America is the same as well. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There's a lot of relatability in running. Everyone goes through the same thing. You are running the same amount of miles, and right. so it's a really tight knit, like good community. You know what I mean? Just a, re- a really wide range of people are a part of the team, but it just brings everyone together somehow. Um, and I think that's really amazing and it's just a group of friends and people that you can only get out of a team like cross country like suffering through the same kind of pain and um, I've just had so many memories um, over the years on the cross country team and that's what I will take with me as I like leave the program and that's what I'll miss the most so definitely my teammates. Right, yeah that's amazing. That's the end of the third edition of On The Fly. This is Mina and Yuna. And make sure to stay safe and warm this November. Bye!